member for Essex. Mr. Speaker, right now, Democrats and Labor in the U.S. are working hard to achieve a better NAFTA. They're trying to improve labor provisions that will protect jobs, fight big pharma to keep medication affordable, and strengthen the language of the deal to protect the environment. Canadians expect this Liberal government to push for these same changes here at home. Yeah. This new NAFTA is too important to be rushed, and the U.S. is not even close to ratifying the agreement. Yeah. Do the Liberals understand that rushing the ratification of the new NAFTA can have devastating impacts on Canadians. The Honourable Minister of Foreign Affairs. Mr. Speaker, I know that the member for Essex worked for Unifor before entering this House. I would therefore hope that she is familiar with the comments from Unifor leader Jerry Diaz. Here's what he had to say. There are some incredible victories in this deal. Things we've been arguing and fighting for for the last 24 years. Traditionally, trade deals have been about profit, not people. I can honestly say these negotiations included discussions about people, about workers. The Honourable Member for Essex. Order. I worked at a real job on an auto assembly line, and workers want a better deal. The U.S., after a very difficult year of steel and aluminum tariffs, they're gone, but the threat remains. The U.S. has reserved the right to reimpose them, even if the imports surge beyond historical levels. The problem is no one knows what the definition of surge is, including the Minister of Foreign Affairs. What's to stop the U.S. from calling any increase in Canadian imports a surge? Canada isn't safe from tariffs if the language of this agreement can be manipulated by Donald Trump. How will liberal, this Liberal government protect our steel and aluminum sectors, given the loopholes... Honourable Minister of Foreign Affairs. Mr. Speaker, let me thank the Honourable Member for giving me a chance to say something that I think comes as a great relief for all Canadians. At a week ago today, tariffs, illegal and unjust tariffs on Canadian steel and aluminum were lifted. 